Alpha and I'm going to show you how to connect the Google Calendar with your easy appointments and sync events. So the first step would be actually to install the extension and after that is when you will see the new option inside the easy appointments menu section. That option is called connect. And if you open that page you will see actually the, the settings for extension and on the first tab you will have the settings for Google Calendar. As you may see here the, the, the majority of fields are empty and we need to fill it out in order to connect it with Google Calendar. So the first step would be actually to go to the Google Console. So Google Console, we can Google it out and open it. Of course you need to be uh, logged in with your Google account. So first step here would be actually to create a project if you don't have any. So we have a couple of those but we can create a new one just for the sake of this presentation. So this is new project. We can name it like that and create it. So it's actually it's taking some time to create a, a project and after that is done we can select it or swap it and so it's not yet live but now it is and you can see the dashboard here of that project pretty much everything is is empty and the next step would be actually to enable the API required for calendar access in order to do that we can go here and jump to the quick link here or we can open the menu on the left side and go to the API section Let's open the API section and here you can see that we have no traffic at the moment and no errors. So here there is an option to enable the API or end service. So Google provides a tons of API but we need to have only access to calendar. So let's type calendar. And here you can see the calendar API. Clicking on it will open the screen where you can click on the enable button and actually enable, enable API for this project. Of course we are going to do that if we want actually to connect the easy appointments with the API. So once that is done you will see that here the traffic is again non-existing at the moment. But next step would be actually to create credentials. So you have the link here or you can click on the button or you can go step back and open the credentials screen. But before we, uh, as you can see here, before we actually proceed with credentials, we need to configure the consent screen. That screen is going to pop up when the user try to authorize inside Easy Appointments and actually connect it to, to this project. So first we are going to configure the consent screen. Let's do that. So there are two types of, of, of screens available. That's internal and external. So internal requires you to have the, the Google Workspace organization and it actually uh, needs to be paid version so we are going to proceed with the external one but you don't need actually to, to verify your ad because your Google allows you to have up to 100 users before you actually need to verify the application but for easy appointments you only need one user after clicking credit of, of uh, after clicking on create button, you will be presented with a form. Just type the name that the user is going to see on that screen. So you can call it demo screen. The email, of course, you need to provide your email, the logo, but it's not important that much because you will use it only with your account or account that you know that is going to be used. So 
you can here add domain here and policy link and everything so and authorized domains so this part is probably will be required in order to actually use your domain you need to prove that you owner of that domain so that is done via Google Search Console and then uh, you will actually have the, the, the file that you're going to upload to the root of your uh, domain or your publicly access folder and after that is done Google is going to verify that you're actually a owner of, of that domain but since this is a, just a demo we are going to skip those steps and let's type the email so let's see if this is okay okay this is done so there is a couple of more steps but th those are not mandatory and we are going to credentials part uh, we are going to focus on this section here so we need to actually add the OAuth client so we will click on the create credentials and then select the OAuth client ID first we need to choose the application type so it's going to be a web application we need to name the client we can leave it as it is and then we need to add the, the authorized JavaScript origins and authorized redirect URLs in order to uh, acquire those data we need to go back to the easy appointment settings page and you will see here links that you need to put there so first we are going to use the host part and that host part will be added here so we don't need two of those and after that we are going to copy paste the redirects so this is the first one and then we are going to add the second one and we are going to hit the create button and you will then be presented with your client ID and the secret of course I'm going to delete this after this uh, demo is recorded in order to avoid some kind of misuse of these credentials but let's continue with this after we click on the save button we will be able to proceed on the easy appointment side so next step after you save the, 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 the client ID and the secret you will be able to click on the authorize button so let's click on the authorize button and you have to log into that Google account that actually is going to be used for accessing the calendar so I'm going to use my own here and then we are presented that we don't have the access of that page so this is the, 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 the new thing that Google added so Google it's actually required that you have the list of users in the testing environment that is going to be whitelisted to access the application so we are going to uh, change that in order to change that we are going to need we are, not, we are going to need to go back to the Google console part and then on the on the uh, OAuth consent screen uh, make this application published and we are going to do that by clicking on the publish button of course we, are, we don't need to verify the application because we are going to use it only for one Google account so let's go back to the easy appointment so let's click on the authorize button and then select the account and this is fine so Google hasn't verified this application but we don't need to do that uh, we just need to click on the advance and proceed to authorization part so Google will ask you do you give permissions to, to access the Google Calendar for this user of course you're going to say allow and once that is done you're going to click allow once more one more time and that's it 
now the easy appointments uh, extension plugin have the token for your Google Calendar. In order to test how it's working, you can actually go to the Advanced Calendar Sync option and click on the Add Calendar. There, Google is going to list all the calendars that you have connected to that account. So, if we click on the Test Calendar, we can then proceed and select the service, the, 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 the worker and location. And after that is done and saved, those events that are created inside this location, service and worker, will be synced to the Google Calendar. And of course, the events that are created on that Google Calendar are going to be synced back to the Easy Appointments. And uh, there are a couple of more things that you need to take care of. First of all, make sure that you map all the all the calendar, calendars that you're planning to use with all the location services and workers that you have, and make sure that you actually uh, select the proper sync intervals. So some hostings can block sync intervals that are less than 15 minutes. So for instance, the five minutes sync interval will actually never work because they are going to ignore it. So if that is the case, you can extend the, the sync to 15 minutes or 30 minutes. And also there is one important thing, events created in Easy Appointment side are going to be immediately synced with Google Calendar and events that are created on the Google Calendar will be only synced after the sync interval is done. So meaning in this case that you're going to wait maximum five minutes or less. And that would be pretty much it for this short demonstration. Thank you.